I made a video in the past, when Miko wasn't released yet, trying to predict her move set, and suffice to say, I was very proud of it. This video compares my made up kit, to Miko's actual real one in the present, and if I came close to being correct, or not. Let's begin. Yay Miko, is an electro catalyst user, that can be a healer for the team, or be a main DPS, depending on the play style. She's actually more of a sub DPS, than just a pure support. From what I've seen, she could also be played as the main damage dealer. For her elemental skill, when tapped, she summons a fox, that deals electro damage to the enemies, similar to Fish Shell's bird, but has the animation of, Andreas's wolves. When the active character, health is below 50%, the fox will immediately stop fighting, and start singing and healing the active character. The healing scales off, yay Miko's max HP. When the active character's health reaches 80%, it will stop healing and continue fighting the enemies. Her tap skill, has a duration of 7 seconds, and a cooldown of 10 seconds. When you hold Ye Miko's elemental skill, she transforms into a fox, similar to Fish Shell's burst, that deals electro damage to enemies hit. After 2 seconds, she transforms back to her old appearance, and receives the Narukami blessing. This basically means, she receives extra 30% of crit damage, has continuous healing, but only to herself, and gets an electro damage bonus, based on Yamiko's max HP. Her hold elemental skill, has a duration of 12 seconds, and has a cooldown of 15 seconds. Switching out of Yamiko, removes the Narukami blessing. After unlocking the talent, Extra Tail, a fox will be summoned on the field, when an electro character uses their elemental burst, excluding Yamiko herself. My Tappy, was slightly similar, with summoning a creature, that deals continuous electro damage. Other than that, it's completely wrong. She doesn't heal at all, just damage. Her skill, doesn't even have an holdy, and she summons three creatures, not one. For Ye's elemental burst, she makes a giant fog, that deals continuous electro damage to the enemy's hit, similar to Ganyu's burst but electro. It also provides healing, to the active character that's inside the fog field. After unlocking the talent, Nowhere It Hurts, enemies inside the field, will have their defense reduced by 8% as well. Her elemental burst, has 60 energy cost, and has a duration of 12 seconds, and a cooldown of 15 seconds. Everything I predicted, is just entirely wrong, other than the fact, that the burst, deals electro damage. It doesn't have supporting capabilities, just damage. It isn't long lasting. Unlike how I predicted, and her elemental burst, has a very high 90 energy cost, completely opposite, from my small 60 energy. Her ascension stat, is crit rate. And her passive talent, perfect memory, shows where all the Inazuma specialties are, similar to Goro's. When you want to use Ye Miko as a support, you tap the elemental skill, and do her burst and switch out. If you want to use her as a main DPS, you hold her skill, then use her burst. Then just destroy the enemies with the help of the Narukami blessing. Some good weapons for her, are the Purple Donut, Dodo Coattails, and Woodsith. The best artifact sets for her are, 4-piece Tenacity of Millilith as a support, and as a main DPS, maybe Thundering Fury 4-piece, or 2-piece Tenacity of Millilith, and 2-piece Thundering Fury. That's all, thank you so much for watching. I wasn't very accurate, but there were definitely some similarities in my prediction. This just shows, how great Hoyoverse is at, in making the character's appearance, match the character's kit. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe and like, if you ended up enjoying this video. Bye.